Alright, this podcast that I'm going to do is dealing with section 8.3 in our book called Area of Ar- Areas of Irregular Regions. And just to make this hit a little closer at home, what I decided to do is we're going to find the surface area of Lake Superior. So what I did is I imported this picture into Geometry Sketchpad. I darkened up these lines so it's a little bit easier to see on YouTube here about what squares are inside Lake Superior, what sides squares aren't, and all that other junk. Okay. But basically the process of finding the surface area of any object or the area of any object here is we've got to count all the full squares in here first. So we'll mark them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we got 15 full squares. Well, I'll write that somewhere over here. We'll say 15 squares. 15 full. Okay. Now, once we got the 15 full ones, we go through and count all the ones that are partially filled. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, let's see, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39 squares. Let's see, am I missing one? I will go even 40. This one's got a little chunk in there, too. Okay, so I've got 15 full squares and I've got 40 partially full ones. It doesn't matter if they're like three quarters full or half full or a quarter full. We just count however many partial squares we've got. So 15 full, 40 partial. Now, how do we use that information to get a little approximation for our surface area of Lake Superior? Well, what we do is we take our full squares, which is 15, and we take half of our partial squares and add those together. So half of 40 is 20. So 20 plus 15, we've got 35 squares. Okay, so area here is definitely not 35, though. What we need to do is find the area of each of these individual squares and then multiply that by the number of squares that we have. Okay, and the nice thing about the grid here is each of these little gr- each little box on here is 50 kilometers by 50 kilometers. That's what the scale is. So each area is 2,500 square kilometers. So to get our approximation, we take 35 times 2,500 and we get 87,500 square kilometers. Okay, and just to compare it, what Lake Superior actually is, Lake Superior is actually 82,414 square kilometers, so our approximation is a little bit too big. But if you look, we've, we're dealing with a pretty small map. And the way we'd kind of get a, a finer approximation is what we'd need to do is get find a bigger map that has a smaller scale. So the bigger the map and the smaller the scale on there, you're going to get a, a finer and finer approximation. You'll get closer and closer what it really is. And actually, that's it. Got any questions, please post them or tell me in class or whatever. I'm done. I'm sick of talking.